hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to simnaya if this is your first time of coming across this channel sweetheart kindly smash that subscribe button turn on the notification so you get notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all give me here please ignore this voice the voice is still recovering so i am going to leave what started the whole conversation here right they started by saying there is hate in all you black people's hearts i have been seeing it all effing day it is exhausting and like how are they calling black people out how uh, how like it is they are uh, uh what do they call this like you know the 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 nerves and the effrontery of them coming out to say that there are so many hate in black people's heart when they are the one with the hate right they are calling black people to come help them speak up and you, you all know yourself, so right? You know how black people do their thing. They ain't coming out and they are not coming out. And that is on period. And they are coming out to say that, yo, you all are so wicked. And you know what? A white woman actually came out to tell them like, you know, you all were the ones that messed up. Nobody followed you to mess up. And you all are busy calling black people up and down, calling for support. How are they going to support you? Have you ever shown them support? It is you all that started all this. Instead of you to call black people, go and call your people. Tell them to come fight their fight because it is their fight, not black people's fight. You know, if people feel so entitled that you messed up and you're calling another person to come clean up your mess, and then not just only that, you are insulting them, right? Saying that they have so much hate in their hearts. Sis, we see you. Sorrow, sorrow, prayers. You know what? Stay with the screen. I am just going to roll this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. And straight up, I am rolling the clip. So, you know what I find amazing? All of these people saying, oh, we all need to come together to fight the shit that's going on in Florida. Well, you know what this sounds to me like? It sounds the same call for when 70 odd percent of white women voted for Trump and now because they're dying in the parking lot because the states won't give them an abortion when they're almost at death door. Does it sound familiar? Same thing with the Hispanics in Florida. 68% of the Cubans voted for this shit. 63% of the Puerto Ricans, 58% of the Venezuelans. Little did they know that all of these laws are going to affect them in some way with some family member who is undocumented. But it is always these people who ignore everybody else's rights Start on TikTok, let's come together. You should have thought of the coming together before these radical Republicans passed all of these fucking laws. Because let me just tell you, as the white side of Obama, because my father was black, White people don't give a shit about any other race. When they're done with the trans, when they're done with the hom homosexuals, when they're done with the marginalized, 
they'll come after you. This is how they have always operated. So a call to come together after you allowed that orange piece of shit to become president of the United States is not a call that many people are going to answer because you're all hypocrites. So I live in Florida. I've lived in Florida since 1978. And in all the years that I've lived here, we have never had a governor who hates black people the way Governor DeSantis does. He might have some black people around him, but they're all for show. This Italian, DeSantis is an Italian descent from a fascist Italy. He can do whatever the fuck that he thinks he wants when 20% or more of Florida are black and mixed race people. I look white. I am from Jamaica. I have a mixed family. And I will be fucked if my grandsons do not learn about all the horrible shit that went on during slavery. And Florida is distinctive of all the 50 states. Do you know why Florida is so distinctive? Those fuckers back in the day fed black babies to alligators. Is that what he doesn't want people to learn about? The depravity of white people? There is no way in today's social media that you can hide history from people. You can try to enact every fucking law, DeSantis, that you want to enact. But there is no way in hell all the shit that was done will be hidden anymore. All right, so I want you to look at the response you said. There's hate in all of your black people's hearts. Baby, no, it's not hate. It's frustration. It's tiredness. It's the aggravation that we are still being hunted and killed. We are not receiving the justice that we deserve for these deaths. Not just by the police, but by just regular old citizens. In Florida, there was literally a man that was hung and they said it wasn't foul play. This man was dismembered and it wasn't foul play. But you want black people to, oh, let's get in arms and save the day. No, we still try to save ourselves from the injustices that we're continuing to face. It's illegal to be black in America because nine times out of ten, you always got to look over your shoulder or you have to worry about a white passing individual or a white woman using her white tears to weaponize it and get someone black locked up or killed. Understand, it's frustration. It's tiredness. We are not superheroes, and we do not need to come and save the day anymore. Those days are gone and over with. Talk to your people. Say, hey, hey, my, my POCs, we need to band together. But stop calling black people to do it. It's not our job. It hasn't been since we left slavery. It hasn't been since we've been freed. Stop calling us. The phone doesn't work. And it's funny how you keep replying to me, but I know there's a gang of people that you haven't even gone on their page or nothing about. I don't understand why, but I'm always have the energy every single time. Because you're coming for black people, 
and I'm gonna come for you. All right, so this is all we got from this video. And before we end this video, I am going to say, how are they focusing on calling black people instead of them to call their own people and other people? Because as it stands, Yo, you all know black people already. I mean, yo, you all know yourselves. I mean, black people are not even going to talk to you from, even if you call them from now till tomorrow, even if you call them any, like you can call them anything, nobody's going to come out because they are not going to come out. She got the, I mean, she got the nerves to come out and say black people have so much hate. Instead of her to concentrate on how they're, I mean, to gather themselves around and uh, chase what that is chasing them. And why are they even who are they even chasing? And what exactly is chasing them? It is people that they put into office or offices that is chasing them. So it is not black people. Black people never ask you people to go and vote for anybody. To start with, nobody called, nobody asks you to vote for this person. You all woke up and decided to be anti-black and went to vote for them. And you, you all forgot that you have brothers and sisters, cousins, and all that that are, uh, are not registered migrant or something. I don't know if this is the right word to say, but please, I stand to be corrected, please. And you all did not think about that, right? Yo, you all voted. And right now, it is black people's problem because they are not giving you a listening ear. I mean, I love my black people. I mean... I, oh my God, I wish I can see y'all all where you are and give every one of you hugs. They are calling black people. When they are, the, the, I mean, how do you call other people to come fight your fight? Because I don't get this thing. Make this thing make sense because it, it, it's not making any sense. This is where I am going to draw the cutting. Thank you all so much for all the support and love. I appreciate every one of you. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.